work hard all of your life, you get straight A's in high school, you rack up a 4.0 GPA, and then the government tells you that instead of going to that elite college you just got into, you're actually going to be deported. Arthur, Mc Arthur McCoyan, this year's valedictorian of Bullard High School in Fresno, California, was told just that, and he joins us now from San Francisco. His mother is also in studio, but has declined to appear on camera. Arthur, thank you for being here this morning. Thank, thank you for having me. As we understand it, uh, last month you were awoken in your home at 7 a.m. by officials who took your parents into custody. What led up to that? Well, I guess it was basically because our case didn't work out and then... Uh, uh, by you, by your case, what you mean is your request for asylum. Your parents came here from Armenia, in, you and your mom came in 1995, you requested political asylum, and then what happened? Mm -hmm. Well, at first our case got denied and then we went to the Ninth Circuit. That, that took about seven years, and then that recently just got denied. We applied for an appeal for that. That didn't work out. Hmm. And then now we're at this point. And, and uh, Mrs. McCoy, and I want to ask you, I know that you don't want your face shown on camera, but we can hear you. Did you and your husband enter legally? Yes, we did. And so all of these years, what have you been hoping would happen here in the United States for your family? Well, we're hope, uh, I was hoping that, um, that uh, we're hard-working people and um, we uh, did everything law asked for, for, from us and um, we uh, did everything we could, but I guess um, it doesn't matter because our case did not have enough evidence uh, to support. We didn't have enough ed evidence to support our case. Meaning that the but U.S. officials did not believe that you would be persecuted if you went back to your home country of Armenia. Yes. While all this was going on, Arthur, you have just been growing up here basically as an American. And, and we understand you did very well in school. What were you hoping for your future? I was hoping to get into a good college and get a get my ed education straight because I want to go into a medical field, hopefully become either a pharmacist possibly or a dentist. And in fact, but you did get into good schools. You got into uh, University of California, Davis, and you see Santa Barbara. But now what is going to happen to you? Well, uh, until we figure this out, I'll probably have to put this on hold. And then if possible, if I, if I end up staying here, I'll just go next year, and if not, then I'll just have to go back and s start over. Hmm. Arthur and Mrs. McQuayan, stick around. We're going to have a debate on both sides of this issue and try to figure out uh, what the future will hold for both of you. And if uh, Arthur should stay here or if he has to go, we're going to have both sides of the argument next. Obama clinches the nomination. What challenges does he now face? Guests Carl Rove, Mary Madeline, and Juan Williams break 